Residents of Benue State are appealing to the federal government to soft pedal on its implementation of the subsidy removal. The appeal followed the sharp increase in the price of petrol as well as the attendant scarcity of the products after the pronouncement by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu that subsidy regime has ended. Jimmy Adzande reports. A check around the Makudi Metropolis reveals that issues around the subsidy regime has dominated discourses among groups and individuals since the inaugural speech of Mr. President on May 29th. These discussions are a testament to the hardship that subsidy removal implementation has caused. I didn't expect him to make that pronouncement on his first day, inaugural speech. I didn't expect that. It's going to come later. Solution for us now. Nigerians are suffering. You know, fuel has this thing. Fuel is a leveler. In Nigeria, fuel is a leveler because almost everything is linked to, the, to fuel prices. So if fuel goes high, if there's difficulty with fuel, food prices will, will go high, transportation will go high, even if they will go high, the things that the common man deal with every day will go high. They lamented that PMS in Makudi is either unavailable or selling between 500 and 600 naira at the time of this report. Yeah, I, I consider it as, as, as a non-patriotic uh, move. But uh, I look forward to the president going back to the round table and trying to see how this issue can be amicably resolved. But uh, the decision to remove the subsidy, I think, is, 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 is quite a welcome one if the funds uh, used in financing the subsidy over time uh, will be used in developing critical sectors like the president. Uh, had mentioned, most especially uh, the issue of education that he mentioned in his speech. Uh, but for now, it is quite a difficult situation. It's biting hard. I'm feeling it because uh, I bought for almost 500 uh, naira per liter this morning. They called on the president to immediately listen to the cry of Nigerians and cushion the hardship created by the pronouncement. The government should now have these austerity measures in place whereby they would um, help to cushion it, to help to cushion the adverse effect of the expected hike in food prices, hike in transportation. So we should have a system where beyond beyond giving poor families five thousand, poor households five thousand, there should be a system where people will be able to produce and production has to do with people should go to the farms, produce their own food. So you have to improve security. When you improve security, people can go to the farm, produce for themselves. How much would five thousand? Five thousand will not take them anywhere, anywhere in this country. Five thousand is nothing. They are hopeful that the next few days will usher in some sort of stabilization, as the nation looks towards measures that will create a balance between what the economy and Nigerians stand to benefit with subsidy now gone. <laughs>